Happy holidays, everyone. Today is a very special edition of Booze and Packs. We will be opening up all of these ETBs. I have two of these Silver Tempest ETBs, this Astral Radiance ETB, this Brilliant Stars ETB, four packs of Battle Styles, and eight Vivid Voltage. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, here are the code cards. Don't forget to like and follow. Uh, if you haven't done it already, it goes a long way for the channel to subscribe to it. Uh, here you go. As you guys know, here's the drill. I'm going to be opening up all of these packs in front of us. And anytime that I get a hit, so hollow or higher, I will take a drink of my drink. And if I happen to get a card that's uh, over $25, I will finish my drink. So uh, today I am drinking a spiced eggnog with um, with spiced overproof rum and a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg to be a little festive. Sorry, I don't have any you know cool decorations or anything other than that Umbreon because I just haven't had a chance to put my tree up yet. Uh, happy holidays to those of you who you know whatever you celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, Christmas, any of the others, Yule, uh, Winter Solstice, whatever you want to celebrate. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm only going to show you guys the hits to keep this going quickly, but uh, don't worry, I will give you any of the code cards that were not featured, of packs that were not featured in this video. So we're going to start off with Battle Styles. So uh, nothing in that first pack. Uh, just to reiterate, I'm hunting the um, Sleepy Tar, the Single Strike Urshifu VMAX Altart, and the Empoleon Altart. Uh, question of the day is, what are you celebrating this holiday season? I'd love to hear it. Anyway, let's get going. There you go. Yeah, I, I honestly, I really liked Battle Styles. I thought it was one of the better sets. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it, it brought a lot to this um to the gameplay so i really enjoyed it first hall of victory belt looks like we got something guys hey and we have our first hit of the night we have a flapple v i will take it that deserves a drink let's go super excited so out of the voltage i still need that chunk of v max the rainbow chunk v max i still need the regular chunk of v max as well as that uh full art Pikachu V. So basically all of the Pikachus I still need in this set. So maybe, just maybe I'll be able to pull one out of this today. Uh, let me know in the comments guys if you've been able to pull it. Uh, and don't forget guys, don't forget to comment what you're celebrating this holiday season. I'd love to hear it. You have a reverse hole on the cargo. And a Togekiss V, there we go. There's another hit. I will take another drink for that, very nice. Togekiss, another, other, another underrated Pokemon. There's a lot of underrated Pokemon out there um, that I would love to see get something cool um, on, oh, do you guys remember back in the Johto days you guys remember when there was actually rumors that Togepi was going to be the baby evolution of Lugia yeah that was kind of cool uh, they were actually setting it up for that and they were setting it up for the GS ball I think to either con contain Celebi or to be used to catch Lugia we have a Mumuchi, sorry, as I'm, my thing's kind of moving. First holo. Hey, and a holo rare dust snore. I'll take it. There we go. That's another hit. All right. Cheers. All right. Uh, yeah, hollows. Uh, I consider hollows hits just simply because Pokemon considers them hits. So uh, my holo could be your secret rare, you know? Uh, but basically, I consider it as a potential chance. You know what I mean? So, that's why I do that one, two, three, for the front. Um, but a lot of people don't. I just do because it's a potential chance. That was weird. Two of the same card. Um, but uh, not everyone does, which I understand. But just because it's a chance that at a, at a rare, I consider it. Test... Churchester Bath, Reverse Hollow, and Ampharos V. That is another hit. Congrats, guys. Let's go. All right. So we haven't had any major big-time hits. No secret rares yet. We've had a couple of ultra rares. 
in those V cards, as well as, there you go, as well as a uh, Hollow Rare. So we've had some some success already, in, and we're only like 8, 12 packs in. So that's pretty good. Maybe that means we'll also get something pretty significant coming up here. Uh, personally, I love Sleep Boosters, so hopefully they um, they give me some good. So we have a Giraffe Rig, Reverse Hollow, and an Orbital V. There we go. That is another hit. I will take it. Cheers, guys. We've done doing pretty well in the ult in the uh, ultra rare department. Not nothing crazy yet, but you know, last pack of Vivid Voltage. Maybe that means we can get something big. Who knows? Here's hoping. We got lightning. Maybe that means that we're gonna get a Pikachu. Charmeleon, Incursion, Wooper, Larry Meowth, Cottony, Barracuda. Nkata, Reverse Hollow Lycanroc, and a Hollow Rare Lugia it is a nice card, good looking card, but not, not a, not an Ultra Rare or a Secret Rare. That's okay though. I will take it. That means we drink. So an Astral Radiance. I still need that Machamp V Altart, the Origin Form Dialga V Altart. And the Beedrill V Altar. Although I'll take that Hisuian Sneezler as well. That one's a nice card also. But there you go. So um Yeah, I still need a decent amount of stuff in Asteroids. And I actually liked Asteroids. I thought it was a surprisingly decent set. Um is it the best set ever? No. No, by any means. But I thought the artwork is phenomenal. Uh, has some nice hits. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought it was a solid set. So you have a Stantler vs. Hollow. And a Hollow Rare Cleavor. There we go. That is another hit. Cheers, guys. Okay. Uh, so, so far we have three Hollows and I think four, um, four Ultra Rares. So that's a decent haul so far. We haven't found a Trainer Gallery yet or any Secret Rares. Um, so maybe that means something's coming up. That'd be nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think we're going to pull something good? I would love to know. Um, there's also the Radiant cards, which are really nice, which there's a Greninja, a Heatran, and a Hawlucha, um, which I have all of them, but, oh, there's something here, guys. First Hall of Krikatot. And a Machamp VMAX. Rainbow Rare. Beautiful card. Look at that. I don't have this one yet. And it has pretty nice centering. I mean, look at that centering. That's a little wide on this side, but that's a beautiful card. That's our first Secret Rare. I told you guys, Secret Rare was coming up. Secret Rare was coming up, and look at that. That is a nice card. Look at that shine. Look at, look at that boiling. Beautiful. All right, let me get this sleeved up. Well, I'm gonna get this sleeved up right now. Uh, give me one second. I'm gonna check and see what the rarity of this card is. So this card is not 25. It is over 10 though. So I think that that's well worth a drink. Not a full drink, but still, cheers guys. So in Brilliant Stars, I still need the uh, Altar Charizard V. I still need the Rainbow Rare Charizard V Star and the Altar Arceus or Arceus, as many people as people say. Some people say Arceus, some people say Arceus. I used to say Arceus, and then people were like, "No, it's Arceus." So then I changed it, and now people are like, "No, it's Arceus." So I'm lost. So everyone refer to it the the, the god of all Pokemon. Um, so, um, but I still need it. I also still need that gold um, Arceus Arceus as well. Uh, and I need that Umbreon uh, V Max Trainer Gallery. And the, and the V, I could take the V too. So we have a Verse Hall Shanks. And a Hall Rare Barbaro. That is a hit. Hollows are hit. Cheers, guys. Very nice. If you haven't done it yet, guys, don't forget to drop a like and maybe subscribe to the channel if you're liking the content. It goes a long way. 
um, and it keeps you up to date on all of the cool stuff that we're doing, uh, whether it's brand new products, because there's tons of new products coming out. Ooh, interesting. Um, uh, I also do mystery boxes, mystery packs, uh, plenty of stuff for you to get, kind of sink your teeth into, so uh, definitely hit that follow button if you haven't done that already. It goes a long way. Snow Run, Verse Hollow Gibble, and a Zamazenta V. Very nice. That is another hit. So another ultra rare. I will take that. Very nice card. Cheers, guys. Interestingly enough, we haven't found a trainer gallery yet. Uh, normally by now, I would have already at least had a couple. But yeah, I haven't found a trainer gallery yet. It's, it's interesting. Um, I personally love trainer galleries. I think they're my uh, some of my favorite cards. Because they're just, it's nice to see the Pokemon with the trainer or character as well. It just gives a little bit more um, animation, I think. But we got something by, behind there, by the way. Cafe Master. And Hall Rare Grambles. That's another Ultra Rare. I will take it. Very nice. But yeah, I would love to get my hands on a on some of the nicer um, trainer galleries as well. So maybe those will come up. But anyway, cheers guys. Yeah, I would love to get my hands on some some of these. Uh, particularly, I'd love to get my hands on the, um, in Silver Tempest, on that Rayquaza with Zinnia. thought that was a beautiful card. I'd love to get my hands on that. Um, there's a bunch, and also Red's Pikachu. I want Red's Pikachu from Lost Origins as well. I tried to find some Lost Origins today. And I just couldn't find anything. It was it was tough. Verse Hall of Mothim. And a Hollow Rare Garchomp. That is another hit. I will take it. Very nice. Hollows are hits. Cheers, guys. So in Silver Tempest, I am still hunting for that, that Lugia as well as the Reggie Drago and Unknown Alt Arts. Uh, I still need that Gold Lugia and Rainbow Lugia as well. As, and I could use that... Rayquaza trainer gallery to boot. So there's still plenty of stuff that I'm hunting. I did find the Scum Tank altar, which was surprising. I pulled out of a sleep booster, which, you know, figures, because I always pull fire out of sleep boosters. So don't sleep on sleep boosters, kids. Uh, they're awesome. Sorry, I had to burp real quick. Uh, we have a Beldum Reverse Hollow. Hey, an Alolan Vulpix V. That is another hit. There we go. Another ultra rare. Beautiful looking card. I was very surprised that they decided to feature Alolan Vulpix. Uh, and not Alolan Ninetales. It was an interesting choice. Interesting choice to say the least, but cheers, guys. Okay. Uh, I did have to switch my beer. Switch to beer because uh, I ran out of my eggnog. And I really didn't want a second uh, cup of eggnog. That's a lot. So I switched over to beer. It's a Wachusett Winter Ale, uh, which is a nice, nice beer. Very um, crisp and uh, refreshing for that winter feel. So definitely check it out uh, if you can get it. Uh, it is a New England beer, so I'm not sure how far it distributes, but it's definitely a nice beer if you haven't had it yet. So, but let's see. Hopefully we can pull something else so we can continue to celebrate, we've got a snow runt, reverse hollow. Oh, that's something, guys. And we have a Brandon Full Art Trainer. Very nice, look at that. That is a nice looking card. Let me just check and see what the pricing is on this. Yeah, I. I like the full art galleries personally though, at least with the full art trainers, I would prefer to have them be, um, I'd prefer to have them full color rather than the rainbow, simply because I find with the rainbow, it you kind of lose the character a little bit, whereas you, you kind of get the concept and the environment with the full color ones, so that's why I kind of prefer those. So we have a fungus, we have a ponyta, there's something, but guys, look at that, there's something, ooh. I think it's full art, guys. And a Reggie Alecki V. Very nice card. Look at that. 
Look at that shine. Beautiful card. Wow. Just taking a quick sec just to look up what the price on this is. Very nice. <laughs> it's not $20, but it's a beautiful card. So, cheers, guys. All right. That's a nice card. I mean, just to take a quick look at it again, the color work on that is really nice. Pokemon is, they, they've started to really try to make their their full arts uh, attractive pulls again. A lot of people kind of have shied away from the full arts at this point, just not because the full arts are bad, but more because there's just other things to hunt. And so with these changes to the full arts, it's making them a little bit more desirable. Uh, even if they are not a big ticket hot, um, you know, value card, they're still cards that people really enjoy pulling. So we have a Fennekin Reverse Hollow and a Hollow Rare Aerial. So that's another hit. Very nice. I'll take that. Cheers, guys. Okay. So this first sev this first Silver Tempest uh, ETB has been fairly packed. Uh, we haven't pulled anything you know spectacular yet we pulled some nice cards but we haven't pulled anything you know big high rollers so far uh that the champ v max uh secret rare is the top card we've pulled so far but i'm still holding out hope we have a reverse hollow dragonite and an almost star v that's another hit i will take it that's very nice Look at that, another ultra rare. Cheers. So I'm wondering, have you guys heard of the Tim Theory? Uh, or the, uh, what a lot of people have actually raised is with the fossil type Pokemon, they all have a rock type because they're fossils, right? However, with Scarlet and Violet, the new theory is that with Scarlet and Violet, they can actually bring fossil Pokemon to the modern place without that fossil typing because they're pulling them directly from the past. So that, hey, and a Brexin, very nice. Very nice trainer gallery. We finally got our first trainer gallery. That is a hit. Cheers. And I'll finish my thought right afterwards. But yeah, they can theoretically bring um, fossil Pokemon back to the modern time without that typing. So you could theoretically get Aerodactyl will be a dragon flying type. Or Omastar being a water bug. You get Kabutops being a um, water fighting or something. So it could be cool. I would be intrigued to see what would happen. I don't know why I put that on there. I'm getting all messed up. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think it would be cool. I'd love to see them bring that. Uh, I uh, wasn't sure if you got a full view of it. So I wanted to make sure you got that. I, I would love to see that happen. And maybe it'll happen in the DLC. We don't know yet. Uh, and it looks like there's a chance that the Kalos region could come into play in the uh, downloadable content. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. Hey, and we end up with a Radiant Alakazam. Very nice. It's one hit. Hey, and we have a double hit. Very nice. So that's two hits, two drinks. I still think it's crazy that we only pulled one trainer gallery. Uh, I mean, we did just pull that radiant card, so I guess that technically counts, but not really because a radiant card is not a trainer gallery card. Normally, I end up with a ton of trainer galleries, so that's interesting. Um, I hope we pull something else. <laughs> we still have plenty of packs left. Oops, sorry. Fletchling. So our hands are burp. Excuse me. We have a clay doll reverse hollow. And a hollow rare for seal stone. So uh, this is one of the new game mechanics. Don't know much about it, but it seems to have a significant role. So that's pretty nice. There we go. Another drink. Okay. So this is the last pack. So this one is going to get shown regardless uh, just because it is the last pack and I like showing it. Come on. Rip. Damn it. Oh, there we go. 
it's this pack just does not want to come open uh here you go one two three four the front all right don't forget to smash that like button guys last pack magic let's see what we can get give me some luck psychic energy leafy camo poncho pharaoh thorn stone jorner drowsy growlith mistrevis whalemer murkrow reverse all ponyta and a non hollow rare caldeo so no no last pack magic but that is okay that happens sometimes all right so we ended up with 21 hits out of 40 packs i think 42 packs so yeah we basically broke 50 percent. so that's not bad uh here are the code cards for the cards that weren't uh for the packs that didn't have anything um i think i might have accidentally kept the trainer gallery card we got one of the trainer galleries uh, i think one of those codes are in here um so sorry about that uh but i hope you guys had fun uh don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done it already it goes along with the channel and that way you stay up to date on everything that we're doing especially uh some of the new products that are going to be coming out uh and don't forget question of the day was guys what holiday are you celebrating in this season if you're celebrating one at all either way just say hi i'll say hi back um but yeah so thanks for watching guys it's been a lot of fun i love doing bows packs night and i will see you guys next time stay tuned bye